Today I want to talk to you about weight, about your weight, about you weighing yourself, about everybody else weighing themselves, uh, about that number and what that number means to you on a daily basis and how it reflects your goals or how it ties in with where you want to be. Okay, so first and foremost, I want you to have a look at these photos coming up because in each of these photos, I was in and around 69 and a half to 71 kilos, okay? And on any given day, we're gonna change our weight by about a kilo, depending on what food we've eaten, how much we've drank, uh, whether we've had really salty food or not, our weight's gonna fluctuate from the morning to the evening. So 69 and a half kilos to 71 kilos isn't a huge weight change. Check out these photos. So you can see in each of these photos that my body shape is quite different. In some of them, I'm quite lean on my abdomen. In others, I'm not lean on my abdomen, but I've got great musculature in my shoulders. Uh, in others, my legs might look bigger. None of those photos reflect how I look now because the level of training I was doing back then, where I was in the gym six days a week, a lot of the time twice a day, doing lots of strength work and lots of power work versus where I am now, which is where I'm doing lots of endurance work. My body is very, very different, but my weight is the same. So when clients come to me and they say, okay, Fiona, I want to lose uh, two and a half kilos, and they come back with this arbitrary number, which generally relates to the weight they were at a time of their life when they felt good about themselves, they felt comfortable in their skin, they felt comfortable in their bodies. And that makes me wonder about why it is we've chosen that number. Rather than saying, oh, I remember two years ago when I used to go to the gym three times a week and I used to run twice a week and I was really balanced with my food and I really looked after myself versus I want to be 68 kilos again or I want to be 75 kilos again or I want to be 85 kilos again. Why are we picking the number? So when it comes to setting goals, when it comes to setting targets for yourself or when it comes to you signing up for a plan or coming on YouTube to check out nutrition videos, I would ask myself why. I would like you guys to ask yourselves why. And why is it that you are looking to change something? Is it because you want to assess your current nutrition plan? Is it because you're not performing as well as you think you should be? Is it because you're carrying around uh, more weight than you feel you should be or that you feel you're comfortable with and you want to lose some of it? So you need to ask yourself why you're doing this or is it because your environment has changed? and something that you used to be uh, able to control, like work hours and um, timing of your day, has that changed in some way, shape or form? And are you looking for something else to control and to manage? Are you bored? Are you looking for a new project? And if you are, great, because there's always ways we can improve our nutrition. But find out and ask yourself why you are doing this. Is there something that you're currently unhappy with? and you're looking to go back to a different time of your life where you were feeling a little bit happier about something. So once you get the answers to that, then you can find the path that is going to lead you to the place that you want to be. Because if you kind of willy nilly come in and say, I want to be 78 kilos or I want to be 70 kilos, that might not actually be what you're looking for. And I think we're all in a position where social media and media in general is telling us, well, actually, if we're a little bit thinner, all our problems will be solved. If we're a little bit lighter on the scales, all our problems will be solved. And that's just not true. So when it comes to nutrition, you need to ask yourself why you want to go down the road of changing your eating habits or eating different food. And once you've discovered that, then you can start making plans and you can develop a pathway for yourself. So just a little bit for you to think about today is the why. Why are you doing this? So write down a few reasons because once you've developed your why, you can start developing your how or your what or your what's next and your plan going forward.